So I'm here at Beam, I'm on the Mac Center stand. Uh, these guys distribute the Akuma Ranger machines. And shortly you can see the, uh, the uh, crowds building up here because we're gonna see two machines in action and then we're gonna interview the gentleman that's behind these demonstrations. The first one's on this multitasking machine where they're gonna be doing gear skiving and hobbing. And the second is on a MH600H horizontal machining center where they're gonna be doing a 10 mil depth of cut using a 100 or over 100 mil, I think it's 160 mil face cutter. Two demonstrations you must watch and they're coming shortly. Pedro, the crowds have gone now, they've dispersed, but it, it looks like it's attracted a lot of attention what you've been doing here on uh, with your Akuma machines. Let's move this way, but perhaps explain what the demonstration you've been showing is. Okay, uh, first of all, welcome to our open factory of Mac Center. Uh, and this year we want to show uh, everybody how too easy is it to create a GR program, for example. Uh, we are doing a live demo show for people. Uh, how to create very easy with this application. Sorry. <laughs> if you put uh, some variables like a number of teeth, deep cut, helix cutting, machine produce uh, automatically very safe program, ready to ready to work. So what? So we got an Akuma here machine. We got a multitasking machine. Yeah. We got two spindles. We're going to talk about what's on the second spindle in yeah. a minute, but primarily. This is what you've been showing to people here, the yeah. fact you can gear hob and gear skive, and it's very easy yeah. to produce on this machine. And very what, tasty also. Yeah, what's the important parts? What's the most important things about when you're trying to cut gears? Is it the accuracy, the, the speed of it? What, 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 what are you trying to achieve? What are the main things that this yeah. machine is, is, is trying to show people? The main thing is that you have all the tools ready to work, different hobbing cuts, and you can produce different parts with easy setups of the machine, understand? So how would you do this pr uh, otherwise? You'd have to get a gear cutting machine, it'd take a lot longer, maybe you wouldn't be able to turn the diameter either, would you? The alternative ways of making gears is a lot longer than what it's taking yeah. on here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And with current operation, you can do everything automatically, the turning, hobbing, and everything. What's your opinion of this machine, Pedro? Tell us about the actual Akuma. I, I'm, I'm in love with this machine, okay? Why? For me, this machine is not like a, a mill tool machine. It's five-axis machine. If you can do, when, when you can do turning operations, milling operations, grinding operations also, and hobbing, skiving, everything. Well, I wanted, to ask, part. I wanted to ask you, if we get the camera, if you come this way, Pedro, a little bit. If we get the camera here, on the second yeah. spindle here, this is something that is, that is, is well, you got, yeah. you're running two demonstrations, aren't you? Why are you showing this piece? Yeah, uh, I want to show in this space that in this machine you can do everything, complete the part, okay? This part. Because uh, I, I think that would be done on a five axis machine normally, or five yeah, axis machine. Yeah, but the difference is in this machine, instead of a standard five axis machine, you can do complete the, the six, six phases of the machine, complete, because we can produce this phase in this spindle, transfer to the super spindle, and finish the part completely. All in one hit. So it's yeah. like a five axis machine in center, it's a turn in center, it's everything, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Everything, everything in one machine. Now you love this machine, but I've got another one that you, you, you love as well. Um, there's actually a few machines here on the Mac uh, stand here at the Beam Show. This horizontal machine in center, this is an MA600H. Now, We've been doing a demonstration on here. Yeah. What have you been showing people here? Yeah, we are showing a heavy cut, heavy cut, uh, 10 millimeters deep with a 100, 600 face mill, uh, 0 0.2 0 .2 per teeth of feed rate, and people are really impressive with this kind of machine. So, is this machine? This this is this is really about strength and stability, and yeah. you know, really heavy yeah, duty strong. engineering. Yeah. Uh, this, this spindle has a uh, 1,000 newtons meter power. Yeah, really. Okay, and, and what is it? A BT50? Is yes, BT50. Uh, you can choose the machine with HSK100 also. 
Um, and, and this has been uh, people have been coming here to, and you can hear it, can't you? I yeah, mean, when, yeah, yeah. but also when it's cutting, it's very you you, you yeah. can barely feel the machine yeah, move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that down to its foundation? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, even we put a, a euro coin here and doesn't move. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, I, I might steal that later. <laughs> so you put a euro on there yeah, yeah, just yeah. to see what, yeah, what the machine yeah. is doing. Oh, the stability of the, of, the, of the machine. Yeah. OK, now let's move on to a machine okay. which kind of illustrates some of the points that Pedro's making about the stability, because we're going to look at a five axis machine here on the stand, which has no guarding around it. And uh, the guys have done this for the, for the purpose of showing, uh, showing visitors that um, that we can see here. Well, yeah, why? Are, well, you tell us. Why are you doing this? Yeah, uh, the main point of this machine of, of Okuma philosophy is the, for example, the motor support is integrated in the casting, it's, uh, and the support motor and the bearing support also. Okay, this for more rigidity. Uh, this uh, increase the the life of the tools, everything. And but this particular machine, this is like a bridge star machine yeah. as well. Yes. Like, Yes. A big cast. There. I mean, you, you, you've chosen to show this one because you wanted to show what how the how the table works, how the how the bridge operates. Yeah. It's about showing everything. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a bridge construction, as you say, and we want to show the machine naked, so people can 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 feel how how it is. Um, the Akuma machines that are here on the stand. Is Akuma yeah. your best-selling product? Ah, for me, for me, of course. I'm, I'm in love with Akuma machines. So, but, but at Max Center, what other machines do you supply? Yeah. Okay. Uh, recently, we we are working with Jingdiao machines. You can come uh, take a look. It's uh, for these are these are like really yeah, fi yeah. Fi finished machining, yeah. high-speed machining. Yeah. I mean, we look at this. This is the GRU yeah. 100. So this is, yeah, for example, this machine is not to to make eggs. You've got an egg in there. Yeah. An egg. The particularity is that we put uh, any egg, and any egg is different for the other one. Okay, and the machine can um, create and find the new shape of the egg and machine directly. Okay. So I suppose we we we're showing sort of how, how delicate operations on a machine. The difference between uh, 10 micron is to broke the egg or not or not cut. Okay. okay. Wow, fascinating. I mean, if, you, if we then look at, you see the machine here, five axis machine, very nimble, very smooth, very quick. But the actual, some of the parts, the finished parts we can okay. see on this table here, I suppose this really is the, okay. is the message, isn't it? I mean, let's just have a look at some of the surface finishes well, here simple. on parts. It looks one part, but if you separate, you can see two different parts. Completely machining, nothing by hand, okay? And in fact, there's a video on our YouTube channel which has got about two million views, I think, where we, you can't even tell that the, 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 there's no distinction between yeah. the two parts. Yeah, yeah. Even you can put this part in another one in order to see that it's a production part, okay? You can, you can do everything what you want, with. So I suppose the, the benefit to the machine is the fact that the the additional operations that you would need normally do like polishing and things like that you don't need to do anymore you yeah. can do it all on one yeah, machine is yeah, that the key? Of course, of course. there's the final final part final surface like a mirror. I mean, not directly in the machine. And that's just machines. That's just milled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's milled. If you see. You can see the, the, the tool path, okay. OK? So you, you were getting excited about Akuma, but you get yeah. excited yeah, about Jingdao as well. So you, yeah. you want and to show me something else? Also okay. a grinding Let's machine, five-axis grinding machine. This tool, we were only going to look at a few machines, but okay. we've got to go around and look at all of them here, because clearly Pedro's excited okay. about the technology. <laughs> like, um, I'm sure that customers that, that visit this stand will be too. So what do we got here? Okay. I have no idea what you're going to show me. But this uh, has machine, it's a grinding machine. Five axis, you can see. Now, Martin is working in a, producing a, a tool, grinding directly from the from from, from the carpet directly. Wow, that's quick. Yeah, and this machine has one application. You can produce very easy parts and, and So that's a that's a cutting. Essentially, this is like a yeah. cutting tool uh, yeah, solution. You can show a little bit the control. Hi. <laughs> wow, the yeah. access to that is fairly neat isn't it get in here load the part so this is 
look, there's a cutting tool in there essentially. Is that what we're doing? Machine. It, it's hello. <laughs> it's a five guy grinding machine for manufacturing some tools. So you can do the manufacturing and the resharpening. And uh, this machine is very versatile. So you can do either uh, rotary tools like hand mills, uh, drills, uh, rimmers, uh, taps. What, what, what are the challenges with making cutting tools? Is it about creating the right forms? Is it about the accuracies? Is it about the surface? What are, you, what, what are the challenges that manufacturers face and they need from machines like this? Alors, almost all what you have mentioned, so the flexibility could be one, or the productivity. Alors, this machine gathers the both, the productivity and the flexibility. The productivity, that means, in that case, the cycle time. This machine is fully equipped with torque motor and linear motors, except on the Z-axis where we have still a ball screw. So it's one of the criteria which will ensure the productivity in terms of acceleration. Another point is the time of the wheel change. Uh, when you make a tool, you can have, depending on the tools, between two or three tool change. Here we can uh, ensure a tool change in the less than four seconds, chip to chip. And then, when you are producing the tools in series, you are also looking for a short uh, tool load and unload. And last, here the loading time is uh, less than eight seconds. And while you are changing your tools, in parallel, you can change your wheels. Wow. So, and it's not finished. It's not finished. To all be, always be focused on the cycle time, you know, on a five-axis machine, like it's versatile, quite often, from one operation to another one, you reach what we call a parking position. Here, the software will optimize the parking position. So you are always working very close to the, to the parts, so to save cycle time. And while you are loading the parts, in addition, we have had a laser to measure the distance length to save one of the probing uh, operation. So with all that, you can save between 20 to 30% of cycle time, sometimes even more. So this machine, if you are looking for the price per part, is very efficient. What a great sales pitch. That, Pedro, I think he, he might have even done a better job than you. Would you reckon? I, I, I have to say, thank you very much for, uh, it, but it sounds to me like this machine is about being really efficient and cutting out dead time, making parts accurately as fast as possible. So didn't even know you guys did this, so I'm sure this will be great value to our audience as well. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. Pedro, just to conclude, we'll, do, we'll, we'll, we'll conclude our conversation here. Yeah. The camera with the back of the... Um, this show for you guys at Mac, is this the most important show in your, in your calendar? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in Bilbao, there's the, the most important show that every two years we try to, to uh, call a lot of people to show and enjoy. And uh, for us, it's a party. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for the insight. This has Thank been uh, an insight into the Mac stand here at the Beam Show. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you very much.